everyone. Uh, so we uh, are the computational karaoke group. Uh, we wanted to do something uh, casual and fun to sort of break the ice for the first day, uh, which then led to us coding the evening for the night. Um, <laughs> so uh, Clive, do you want to tell us, tell everyone a little bit about our motivation? All right, so what is computational karaoke? The design challenge here is to make um, karaoke that will be generated and displayed by the computer. The music will be generated, the words will be generated, um, but <coughs> it's different from normal generation of songs, of which there are many, in that it needs to be human readable. Uh, it needs to be human readable immediately, you need to be able to interact with it. So you can't have something that has a very high complexity or a huge state space. Um, you can't have a huge number of different forms. Basically, you can't cheat in all the ways that people who write computational music will often kind of cheat um, to kind of get an extra complexity or make different outputs sound very different from each other because we need to be able to predict and interact with whatever comes up on the screen as humans. Yeah. So that was our design challenge. And we get the demo up. So we'll, uh, we'll just kick off by... Uh,
going to be a four bar intro, uh, and that's so that the person can get a, a chance to hear the beat and get a feel just for yeah the rhythm of it and any sort of melody components of which there's only a couple possible notes, but mm -hmm. possible keys. Um, we have a four bar verse, a four bar mm -hmm. verse, a four bar rap, and then close with another four bar verse, and then we end. So this is always going to be what happens. And then you could get more complex songs because that is still communicated by what's on the slide. But it's really important to have this four bar intro. And anything that you want to communicate about melody, key, rhythm <coughs> has to be communicated before the person starts interacting with it. So basically, that means it has to be very repetitive. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to get to the sort of uh, verse chorus sort of uh, structure, which we didn't quite manage to get to. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think, you know, there's. Obviously, the text isn't perfectly, uh, <laughs> doesn't make the most sense ever. Uh, it works kind of well, but, uh, but yeah, so there's more work to be done on the, the text and those things as well. Um, so yeah, I think we're, uh, we're here. We didn't have too much discussion. We were basically just making. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, that's yeah, that's what I'd like to try to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Bandy swear. <laughs> yes. This could be my crack hand of Bandy swear. This right here is your son of Anne Schofer to Sertz and Bada. Who figure boom thanks, he signals no use to. <laughs> one game that Tilch was with me trying to. Okay, so that concludes today. Yeah. We're all, I think everyone's yeah. seen it.